All right, we are back with our next guest on the show. Uh, it's his first time here on ATG Radio, but we're very privileged of having him on as a special guest. He returns to the ring on the 14th of September in Rotherham in the United Kingdom as he faces undefeated, highly touted undefeated heavyweight prospect, Yui Fury. We're, we're privileged to be here with the former British cruiserweight champion, Shane McSilvin. Shane, how's it going tonight, my man? All right, mate. Yeah, too bad. Not too bad at the moment. I know, you know, we just spoke to you. I know you're just getting out of the gym. You know, you're you're a little bit over a month away, five weeks away uh, from a huge fight. Uh, a lot riding on the line here. You and Yui Fury. Uh, first and foremost, how did this, this bout come about? Uh, when were you offered this initially? And, you know, how, how eager were you to jump in a chance to fight this young kid? Well, uh, Peter offered the fight to my manager, Carl Greaves. Uh, it was a different date, and now I'm in the gym at that point, but so we refused it that time, but we said we were ready for September, and then that was come about, it was on Twitter, and everyone was on about saying, put me and you together, and then he just sent me a message, so me and Peter had a chat, and uh, the fight come about, we say it was quite easy to fight to be set to the fair, it was a fight we both want, I need to get back in the mix, and he needs to make his name up there now, so it was a fight both we wanted. Now, Shane, one thing that I've noticed, you know, on Twitter, uh, there's a lot of talk about this kid. You know, before the fight was announced with you, Peter Fury, on behalf of his son, was calling out Tony Thompson, which I thought was, was a, a huge, you know, step up in competition for the young kid, only 18 years old. But i got to ask you this. You know, there's a lot of hype around the kid. I think he's extremely talented, but at 8-0, eight, no, 18 years old, um, I mean, there's something in him that I know you see where you're going to capitalize. I know you expect. What, what, what are your thoughts on Yui Fury? You think there's too much hype? You think it's too soon for him to fight someone of your caliber? Well, uh, Yui Fury, he's a good boxer. He's got a very much pedigree, and he's a very good boxer. I've watched his fights, and he can box through sides. He's a very good boxer. What you see with a lot of heavyweights is, especially big lads, just rely on one thing, and one thing they're very good at like that way. Is you don't, you can box, you can punt, and he seems like a special kid. And hopefully, they're not, he's not rushing too soon, and hopefully, he can actually. Well, I'm hoping to hopefully put a shot to, but hopefully, he can go a long way in his career. Shane, my co host Rufus Stepabow is with us. Rufus. Yeah, Shane, uh, one question that I ha have in mind. You have fought Enzo Macronelli at cruiserweight and all that. It went 12 rounds. Enzo Macronelli is not at the best in his career. There is a great significant size advantage disadvantage here. Uh, how are you going to overcome that? Well, I've boxed tall lads before. I've boxed Tyson Fury three times in the amateurs. Fair enough, I didn't beat him, but I'd all the way through in the amateurs. Even as a pro, I fought pros that have been six foot six and 17 stone, and I've knocked them out. So the size advantage does not really affect me to the, at the moment, to be honest. I'm just going there. I've got my own little game plan. Obviously, I'm trying to mix it up, and hopefully I'll be able to pull off one of my big shots. And, and Shane, with that being said, do you think that you think that you know with your experience? You go in twelve rounds uh, in the past three times. Uh, you from the distance, Huey Fury's never been to that six rounds before. Do you feel taking him in the deep waters is going to be your advantage? Well, to be honest, uh, I don't really look at like it's like when the first time I went twelve rounds was when I won the British title. Before that, I'd only done six, two, four, three. So, Someone who's never been, he's going to be training for eight rounds, and I know, I know Tyson and Peter will be training them hard. One of the nicest families in boxing, to the fair, the few years off. I've known them, Tyson and that for a year, uh, nearly 10 years now, and I know they're not stupid. They're going to be training hard, they're going to be watching my fights, and Tyson's going to be giving some tips from when I fought Tyson. So I know they're going to come and bring the A game, and I know that's what I've got to do. So, him never doing eight rounds, I'm not saying that. That's actually the advantage because I know it's all going to have that substance in the gym. I'm sorry, Rufus. I cut you off. I didn't mean to cut you off, Rufus. 
Um, no, it's okay, Frank. Go ahead. Okay, no, as I say, Shane, I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, you know, Rufus is a huge um, Fury supporter, and I love the Furies. Don't get me wrong. I, I just feel that they're um, pushing them too fast. Now, with you fighting them, um, I, again, I still think that you have enough experience to beat this guy, to beat this kid. Um, but let's go on. I want to get one more thing. I want to get your thoughts on another fight that's going to be going down in about a month in the U.K. As you mentioned, you're very familiar with Tyson Fury, having, sparred him, uh, having fought him in the amateurs. What are your thoughts on his chances against, you know, the, the best heavyweight right now in the U.K., David Hay? Well, who do you like in that fight to win? Oh, I think, I think Tyson has a very good chance. Uh, I don't know long David Hay is blue box. He's fast, he's strong, and he knows what he's doing. But to me, uh, I'm backing Tyson all the way to the third. Like I say, I'm good mates with Tyson. I cast Tyson as a good boxing mate, let's say. And his dad, and every time I've met the old family, they've always been great to me, welcoming me with open arms from when I was a young lad. And I'm backing Tyson all the way. And I'm hoping he can pull it off and go on to bigger things. Much respect to that. And final, final thing uh, I ask from you, Shane, because we know the Furies, uh, we're, you know, we're big fans of the Furies here on ATG Radio. We have them on the show uh, very often. But can you send a message to Yui Fury for the 14th of September? Can you send him a message uh, right here on ATG Radio? Something to be ready. I'm going to knock you out. Sure. Something to that. <laughs> we want to start some trouble. <laughs> Well, I'm not really too much in boxing, but basically the only message I can say is obviously bring your game, I'm coming, and I'm open to stop him in his tracks, but I'm not, not saying nothing disrespectful, and after the fight, we'll shake hands, have a beer with him and all his time there, but he's going to obviously bring your game. And we're, we're looking forward to it. At the end of the day, Shane, I can't, I, I can't wait to see this fight. I know a lot of the, uh, the, the UK fans are excited. I just want to let you know, uh, here in the United States, in Las Vegas, uh, we're, we're definitely big fans of the, the cruiserweight, the heavyweight scene in the U.K. You guys uh, always put on great cards for the boxing fans. And the 14th of September, uh, be there. Be there. If you can't be there live, catch a stream. Um, it's going to be on Box Nation, correct? Uh, uh, me and you, we're going to be on uh, live on Channel 5 in the uh, oh, U.K. Yeah, I don't know what... Yeah, we'll be Channel 5 in the UK. Yeah, I, no, for don't turn to the box station. Channel 5 in the UK. Watch this fight. The young, undefeated, uh, rising star, Yui Fury, against the, the very tough and rugged veteran, Shane McPhilbin, 14th of September. Shane, we wish you all the best, and we thank you very much for your time to do this interview. Uh, God bless you, Shane. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. Uh... Thank you. Thank follow, follow Shane at Shane McSilvin on Twitter. Follow him now. Thanks, Shane. God bless you, man. Have a great night, brother. Thanks a lot, mate.